Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound Part 59. My name is I Like Being Smart. I believe it's been a we, it's been a while since I've played. Last time I think we were going to talk to Dungeon Man, so let's do that. Welcome. Ah. Long time no see, Mr. Jeff. We met in Whitner's a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Doctor Andon's finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a little while. The return hole is over there. Jump there and walk out. The return hole is right here. And we fall back through the dungeon to fight these guys. Hey! Remember these guys? These are the ones we fought in Moonside. Where I attempted to make a title with an anagram that failed miserably. Alright. Luckily, we're a little more leveled up now, so we're good. Alright. Actually, considering Pooh is the lowest level of a lot of them, it's actually not quite... Ooh. We need that. Damn, we just got healed. We'll just toss the wet towel. Okay. Ah, damn. Well, sorry. I'm distracted. Not really, but... Um, there you go. That should help. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well this evening. Morning. I'm doing it. I'm doing this in the evening, but that doesn't mean you're watching it in the evening. Because I'm... I never paid attention to the music after you've gotten Dungeon Man. Wow. That is really cool. I never noticed that before. Oh, sweet. So we're just going to see how awesome Dungeon Man is. <laughs> so he gives hugs and he kicks enemies for like 500 damage or whatever. Some ridiculous amount of damage, which is pretty sweet. Um, wow, that music is really cool. It's like a remix of the Dungeon Man music. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I didn't do that on purpose. Blah, blah, blah. 555 in order to get your pictures faxed to Ness's house at the end of the game. That's the episode I just uploaded, hence why. That's where we need to go, but I think there's... I want to fight... Damn it. I want to fight more guys with the Dungeon Man. I don't know why, though. I'm asking for a death sentence by doing that, but... It's alright. I don't know why I keep so many of these battles in. I've kind of been looking at other uh, Earthbound LPs. And a lot of people take cut battles out. Um, there you go. See, 457 damage. It's pretty awesome. Um, come on. So, a lot of people, and that's probably the amount of battles you cut out and or the amount of exploring you do probably makes a difference with how long the LP is. Um, I haven't looked for super short LPs of this. And probably the shortest LP, if you're direct and you cut all the battles and you don't explore, the shortest you could probably get is in the 50s somewhere. But I don't think you could really shove it into any smaller uh, corners than that. Alright. So we've seen the glory of Dungeon Man. This is where you need to go... Oh no! I'm getting caught in the palm trees! I can't move. Well, if I can't move, it's okay. It makes me sad, but I must say goodbye. In my eternal resting place. Aww. Then the music changes back to normal. Um, however...
However, I believe if you use the key to the tower, you can get back in. What? You serious? I thought you could get back in and, uh... We're gonna have the soup. Nice. So... I wonder why that guy's not chasing me. Not like I'm gonna complain. Scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. Monsters are strong, you can lose your health. Just by wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river, even though you know it's a stupid idea? Eh, we're kind of into stupid ideas, sure. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. Hint, 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 hint. If you have a submarine... That was weird. That must have been glitched out. Damn it. Alright. I believe that I have one of my old vehicle collection. You know what I'm going to do, though? Oh, in-game slowdown. Um, broken cannon becomes the spectrum beam. Yeah. Which I believe is a pretty good weapon for this point in the game. Now let me double check. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're upgrading that sucker. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. You have to go all the way back up to the top of the tower and go all the way back down. So I'm going to off-screen back to the top because you've already been through it. You've seen it all. There's no need to see it again. Um, actually, I'll find another air check and throw it at the end of this. And we'll st it'll be a shorter part, but we'll start next video up where Dungeon Man is. So we'll make this a short little part here. My name is I Like Being Smart. Come back next time for part 60 when we uh, finally uh, end our time with Dungeon Man. So, see you next time. Proudly serving the community. We are FM89. What's up? My name's Paul. If you want to give me a call, 630-637-8989. Or send me an instant message at screen name FM89. Tonight's theme, obscure bands, obscure requests. I don't want your sublime Santa Rias, people. I, you know, and I was thinking about this. And uh, I think I'm either going to get people calling in being like, you're awesome. You are a word I can't say on radio or else we'll get fined and go out of business. Or call in and be like, man, you're totally ruining it. What are you doing playing all these weird bands? But to get on my soapbox for another minute, my theory about this is that the reason most of you probably listen to FM89 is because you don't like Top 40 radio. And... Not that, like you don't like it, but you get tired of hearing the same songs over and over again. You know, and like hearing the song and then like exactly an hour later hearing the same song again. You know, how lame is that? You know, we have a policy here where we don't play the same artists w within a three hour time period afterwards. You know, and I think that's a good policy because then you're not guaranteed to hear the same music for at least a block of three hours. Now, I mean, due to whatever, you know, some DJs may follow that, some DJs may not follow that. When I have my four-hour shifts, I try my darndest, because I can't say the other word on radio, to make sure I do not repeat an artist once. That's just my theory. And, you know, um, I remember, like, what turn I was, who was I, I was talking about this Sunday with them, about this Sunday morning, but, I mean, I remember flipping through... A station, stations with three different formats in hearing the same song I think it was some Beyonce song or something on three different stations at the same time and that's kind of when I was like this radio thing is lame no, no don't get me wrong I love the bands like that they, they fill their purpose of you know giving people a fix and, and stuff like that they totally do that you know that's what the purpose is there for to feed to feed the mass media but you know what the people who don't like that are most likely chilling out here so 
So that's me getting off my soapbox. <laughs> Sorry, I just, well, that was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I just get I just get really into it, and I love this station. I love what it stands for, and I take advantage of the freedom we have here because I know I, I don't plan to go into it professionally, but I know the professional stations don't have this flexibility. So I figure, why not take advantage of it? So anyway, we have new music from Hello Operator, as well as the dirtier side of the killers. But right now, we are gonna play. We are gonna play a band called the the Star. No, we're gonna play a band called the Zoo Story. This song is called Star. Right here on WONC FM eighty nine. 